guys, it's Mina, welcome back. Um, we are gonna be doing something a little bit different today, kind of experimenting. A long, long, long time ago when I started pouring, I purchased a whole bunch of Golden's High Flow Acrylics. And I don't know if you guys have ever used these, but they are very, very thin. It's like, like you can hear it, it's <laughs> thin like water thin. So, you know, I tried working with them and being very inexperienced at that point, I just made a complete mess of everything and didn't use them very much after that. So we're gonna try an experiment with the high flow acrylics from Golden today. These are all high flow acrylics except for the black and the white. And I have mixed them with my Liquitex pouring medium, Liquitex gloss medium and varnish, and some Floetrol. So this is a seven ounce cup. I put pouring medium to about here, which is probably about an ounce, ounce and a half. And I added the paint maybe a half an ounce of paint, and then I put Floetrol up until about here. So about five, four or five ounces of Floetrol, an ounce of pouring medium or so, and an ounce, half an ounce of paint, something like that. So they're not super, super thin, but they are definitely not thick. <laughs> so I think what we're going to do, and this is, you need to think about this when you're planning what kind of technique you're gonna use. If you're gonna do a ring pour, obviously you wanna do something with thicker paint because you want it to hold its shape. With this consistency, I'm actually gonna go for a straight pour, but I'm not gonna do a dirty cup, I'm going to layer my cup. So we're gonna see how that goes. I'll show you my colors. This is a 16 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas from Artist's Loft. Let's get that out of the way for a moment. Okay, so Golden's Deep Turquoise. This one is actually turquoise from, but it's, this is all high flow like this. So it's just high flow acrylics down on the side. So that's the turquoise. And this one is actually the phthalo blue green shade. Beautiful color. I'm not leaving a mound on a mound. It's pretty much sinking right back into itself. <laughs> so this could go a couple of different ways. I'm not sure, we'll see how it goes. This one is um, Golden's high flow uh, phthalo green. And don't get me wrong, these are beautiful paints. I mean, it's gorgeous and silky and smooth and lovely. It's just, it's thinner than I'm used to working with. But another factor that I wanted to mention is it's hot here today. I actually had two paintings crack yesterday because I was using my normal consistency of thick paint and maybe I left a little bit too much on there, which normally I could probably get away with, but it was like 95. And inside my tough shed, it was even hotter than that and it started to dry and they were doing okay and then the center cracked on both of them i'll show you guys in the next video probably so you know i want to work with thinner paint that's going to dry faster in hot weather you need to take your humidity and your heat and your temperature into account so okay so this one is golden's iridescent gold fine okay this one is their teal high flow teal Pretty color, beautiful with that turquoise and with the blue. And then we also have cerulean blue, which I love the name. <laughs> it sounds like some like Maxfield Parish, you know, fantastic dreamy landscape, cerulean blue. I love that name, but it's a little lighter than I usually like to work with. I prefer the darker tones, but we're gonna play with it today. And then I also have Artist's Loft Flow Acrylic in black and in white, depending on what we wanna do and what happens. So for that size canvas, the 16 by 20, we need 12 ounces of paint. And because I have scrubbed my cup so much, I've lost the markings. So I've marked where the 12 ounce mark is. So we're going to go 12 ounces on that. And I'm not going to do a dirty cup. I'm going to layer my cup down the side like I usually do. Okay. So let's play. <laughs> I'm going to take all the pressure off. I have no expectations for the outcome of this. I want to play with this and see how it goes. Okay. So I'm going to start with some of the phthalo blue. And then I'm going to put a little bit of gold in. Then I'm going to go in with some cerulean blue. And some green. And then we're going to go, let's do some gold again. And then we want to go into the turquoises. So the turquoise, put a nice thick layer. And then I'm going to use the 
teal. I'm afraid that one's going to take over. Everything that color I've ever used, the bright aqua green, they just, it takes over the whole painting. So to keep that from happening, I'm going to put a layer of phthalo blue on top of that. Keep it in check. <laughs> Show it who's boss. A little bit more gold. Okay, so we're almost at our 12 ounce mark. I'm going to put some more turquoise in there. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I'm excited. Scared, but excited. Not scared. But you know, it's so funny because the last few weeks have been so weird with being able to get supplies and things being delivered when they're supposed to. And, you know, I think everybody has this, uh oh, what if I can't get more? And it really, it limits your creativity sometimes. So I'm trying to let go of that and stop worrying about getting more and focusing more on using what I have. So, <laughs> so hopefully we'll make something amazing. Okay, I think I wanna pour a little puddle of gold to pour into. I'm gonna do a straight pour. Okay. Ooh, this is exciting. <laughs> okay, I might get carried away and put a few rings in there. I don't know, we'll see. All right, you ready? It's so pretty, it's very ethereal. Now I am gonna go up higher because I don't wanna have a whole bunch of gobbledygook in the center like that. So I'm gonna turn that into a little swirl. Turn this because my paint likes to travel. Whew. Okay, so I think I want to put some black around that. And this is sinking. <laughs> this is my drips from the other day. And I have thinned it out several times, so you see it is just sinking right off the bat. There's it's like black with gold in there, so <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna pour this around there. Teeny tiny little bugs. Alright, here we go. You notice when I'm pouring this, I'm not pouring it right next to my paint because it is gonna spread. So you wanna leave a little bit of room for it to spread. See, it closes up the gap by itself. You need a little bit more, that's okay. Alright, spread this out. So my goal today is not to leave a lot of paint on this canvas because I don't, I mean, probably won't crack anyway because all of this is very thin, but I don't want to leave a lot of paint on there and I think I need to figure out, I might have to take some stuff up into the house to dry. I don't know if I can leave it out here in this heat, so. Challenges, but you know, this is the stuff that makes life exciting, right? Is, is figuring out ways to do things to make it work for you. Don't give up. <laughs> Never give up. Okay. All right, let's torch this. Get that out of the way. Pop up. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's tilt it. Um, I think I want to go down this way. It seems like most of the paint is sitting right here, so I want to take it that way. All right. So, yeah, it's moving fast. So when it moves fast, slow your tilting. And you can control the speed of how fast or slow you tilt it. Just pull the canvas down a little bit if it starts moving too quickly. Want it to go faster, lift it up higher. Let's see. Okay, that's good. We're going to go off the corner now. Ooh, it's got a very watercolory. Okay. Put it down. 
Let's see that again. Center. And get in off the other edge. Ooh, this is really cool. Wow, <laughs> that worked better than I expected. <laughs> We're gonna torch it one more time, I think, because we got more cells to come up. But this is really beautiful. There's like this very transparent watercolory sort of feeling. But this beautiful layering. Like layers of transparency on top of each other is really, really neat. That's pretty cool. I like this dark blue area. Okay, let's torch it again. So I wanted to talk to you guys about the weather and the heat and your pores and especially a base coat. The very When we started our YouTube channel it was July 20th so it was really really hot over here and I did one called Celestial Gold which was pretty cool. It was brown and gold and copper and it was a straight pour with a ton of cells. And I tilted it and I did it great and everything was going awesome and the edges of my base coat started to set up and I didn't realize it and I torched it which made everything set up even more. But it also sort of set my cells in place. So if I had just walked away at that point and left it alone, it would have been awesome. But I tilted it after that. So once, when it's hot and you've torched and you have cells, after you've torched it, I wouldn't tilt it any more than that because you're risking the cells breaking. You're risking, if it has started to set up and you tilt it again, then you're gonna get this like thick lip and it's just, it's an awful, awful thing. So you don't wanna do that. So I have torched it. I like it like this. I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, so the other thing I wanna do for you guys today, I don't know if you guys saw, but I painted my big elephant. I poured on him and I love him. And I realized I have a little one too. So I wanna pour a little bit of paint on him and make him look pretty. Okay, same cup I was using. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of gold. Some turquoise. Some of the teal. Ooh, God, that turquoise is amazing. Some of the phthalo blue. A bit more gold. That's probably more than enough paint. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to take some of the drips that are on the table and put a little bit of a base coat on him so our paint has something to slide on. And I'm not putting a lot. You saw I just barely dipped my fingers in there. You just kind of want to cover the crevices. Oops, I'm losing my paper towels. I think I got these at a garden center someplace. They're so cute though. I love them. And then as I would go, I'd see another one. And next thing you know, I had a bunch of them. <laughs> But I've had them for a few years now. Really cute. Okay. So he's covered up. That's good. All right. Let's pour this. Ready? Ooh, he's cool. A lot of turquoise in there. Looks like some blue. Actually, no, he's pretty cool like that. Alright. You want to pour a little bit more. Hmm? 
Let me see in there. There we go. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and these dry really fast, so they'll be dry in like an hour or so. That's awesome. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I will show you when that one's dry and when this guy is dry, too. Okay, so this one actually turned out really, really pretty. There's a lot of beautiful transparency in here. And the turquoise and the green and the gold and the phthalo blue. How it's stretched out. Actually, it looks a lot brighter in person than it is appearing on the camera. And the cerulean blue in here. Very, very pretty. So this was a straight pour. And then I just took the stick and fixed the center of it. Oh, there's the sun. Hello. <laughs> you see these beautiful layers in here. It's just so pretty. There we go. That's very cool. Sorry, it's super cloudy here today. Very weird. So, this one reminds me of something very joyful. Spirits rising. Hope blooming again. <laughs> I'm going to show you the, uh, the Mother's Day pour right now. One sec. So, this is our Mother's Day pour. The ring pour, where we did that little bit of wrecking around the edges, but I tilted it off. <laughs> but it's so pretty in here. Look at all these gorgeous, gorgeous lines. It's beautiful. Look that permanent deep violet. And the dark, dark blue. And the center came out really neat, too. That's awesome. But very cool. And you can see a little tiny bit of the wrecking. Well, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> beautiful lines beautiful separation of the lines which is I'm very happy about there's the sun hello sun <laughs> okay so that was our mother's day pour and I will show you the kitty cat too in a minute so my kitty cat is hanging out in this pot for the moment <laughs> with some of my succulents it looks pretty cool in there. <laughs> so Kitty and I wish you a very, very happy, beautiful day. Take good care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.